What up, guys? Kevin here. Whatever happened to let them cook? Let them cook. Let them boys cook. But no, <laughs> PlayStation fanboys want a second showcase. That showcase yesterday was the worst showcase I've ever seen. That 2021 showcase was really bad. Really bad. And they somehow topped it. They put a trailer for a car movie. <laughs> well, didn't that really end the show? That ended the show, right? The the car, the Gran Turismo <laughs> trailer <laughs> into Spider Man Two. Oh no, they showed the they showed like earbuds, the Q light, which is the most useless device I've ever seen. I think there was something else, but. <laughs> That was really bad, but you know, I've, I kept hearing, let them boys cook. Let them cook. Well, I think they need to understand, well, they're cooking. Games don't take a few years to make. They take five, six, seven, eight, ten years to make. <laughs> this is what you get. This is what you get after nearly two years. You get one of the worst showcases ever. I couldn't believe how bad that was. Just a bunch of indie shit that, um, cool. You sprinkle some here and there, but then you bring out the, the big guns. But you know what the big gun was? Foam Stars. Square Enix's Splatoon, which looked awful. And it looked like it's exclusive to PlayStation. You know how bad Square Enix sucks at doing business? They took a game like that and made it exclusive to PlayStation consoles. At least as of right now. I, I have to assume it's coming elsewhere. I have to assume that is the one that's going to come to Xbox. But so far, that's only coming to PlayStation. A live service game that looks awful. I don't think I've seen anyone that said, yep, yeah, I'm playing that day one. But PlayStation snagged <laughs> Foam Stars. The, they really went all out with uh, their live service games. And they all look like shit. Redfall 2.0 with, uh, I forgot the name of the game, Haven. Haven. Sony bought Haven. I just realized Sony pretty much dumped Deviation Games. Just threw them on the street. No more money for you. I hear that game is all but canceled. How bad was that game for them to, whatever, Haven? Redfall 2.0. Uh, that game looked awful. Well, it wasn't a game. It was a CGI. The CGI looked awful. It told me, like, oh, it looks like a, a woke heist game. Ugh. Um, that showcase was awful. Spider-Man 2. It's like, yeah, we've gotten so many Spider-Man games over the last few years. Who's getting, who's getting their dick hard over Spider-Man 2? I know there's fans that are, but in general... It's turning into Horizon with Spider Man. It ain't new, it ain't fresh. And some of the screenshots and stuff I'm seeing, mm, I think that there's a reason why we didn't get a release date. And now we got MBG here. PlayStation needs to hold a second showcase in 2023, and focus needs to be on their first party studios. It could be 20 minutes for all I care, but it's necessary, in my opinion. necessary i mean i yeah <laughs> i agree i agree um however they would have shown it they would have shown those games wasn't this phase two they showed phase two phase two is a bunch of live service games well what are we gonna get what are we gonna get yeah they have the next uh uncharted or whatever neil druck was working on that game is gonna be ready here real soon no none of these games have gameplay ready so are you asking for a jpeg jpeg of I, I guess that's what they want they just want a jpeg of something which okay that showcase had like barely any gameplay it was a bunch of cgi what were we watching this is the jim this is the jim ryan playstation this is the jim ryan playstation I feel like they're just holding out on uh, 
oh, we got, the, we got a movie for this game, we got a show for this game, so we're just going to hold out till those are ready. Synergy. Synergy. IP synergy. He, he, he. <laughs> PlayStation. I, I'm returning my PlayStation VR, too. That's how bad uh, that PlayStation showcase was. And the visuals are just... I, I think my VR unit's broken, but... Um, that's a different video, but they want a second showcase thinking, oh, they're, they're holding out on the goods. Hey, maybe you'll get a state of play. And maybe we'll get a state of play with another Final Fantasy 16 trailer. My God. When they were shown in the Final Fantasy 16 trailer, I didn't even like really watch. I just kind of kept my eye on it just in case they announced a demo. They announced a demo. I'm like, why the fuck are you showing trailer 10,632? A Final Fantasy 16, my game of the year. <laughs> I, I've seen it. I've seen it. They just did a full day worth of previews like the day before. I watched that. <laughs> that showcase was awful. It was awful. You got people. There's a couple like outlets out there defending it. That showcase was great. What was great about that showcase? Even the Metal Gear Solid 3, or whatever it's called, Snake Eater, that scared me. That really scared me. That reminds me, oh, this is made by Kojima-less Konami. This is made by Metal Gear Survive. I don't think that game's... That, oof. Oof. Just that reveal, that execution with that reveal didn't do anything for me i don't think it did anything for anybody that was a holy shit moment and it was at best oh cool it exists we knew it exists but still the the execution i don't know that weird snake and that thing and then they showed it was a big boss himself just very uh animatronically <laughs> it looks so it looked goofy. It looked goofy. Um, yeah, I worry about that. I really worry about that. Um, but people want a second showcase. PlayStation, you got to give it to them. Here's the problem, though. Their studios aren't ready. We just got God of War, so they ain't getting nothing from Sony Santa Monica. Um, I guess we're still waiting for factions. Okay. Um, is that what we... My issue with PlayStation is they're not a games as a service platform. They're not. They're not. They're single player, high production, very great quality platform. That's where you go to play those games. You don't go there to play games as a service. And this shit's going to backfire so hard after what I've seen. So keep begging. Keep begging. You know, it's nice to see them down. You know, it was starting to feel like, man, they just can't lose. They just can't lose. And man, that was a huge L. That was a huge worrisome L. And Nintendo, y'all gonna get that too. What's next? Are we gonna get another Mario game to save your ass? Not gonna get another Zelda game for what? Six, seven years? <laughs> if, I, if I'm Nintendo, I'll be a little bit worried. I'll be a little bit worried. What do you got? Metroid Prime 4? Has that series even crossed 3 million yet for any title? <laughs> oh, it's great. It's great. And Xbox, I mean, they got the games. Everything's lined up for them now. All they have to do is execute. Do I trust them to do that? No. Even when things are a layup, Xbox seems to fuck it up. But <laughs> right now... PlayStation Nation is very worried. In Nintendo, they're still riding the Tears of the Kingdom high, but I think here in a couple weeks, we're going to get some very angry, like, what the fuck, Nintendo? Where's your Direct? Where's your June Direct? What's next? Are we going to get new hardware? What about, where's the next Mario game? Oh, man, I'll be there for that. I'll be there for that. But until then, I'll be playing Trails of Azure. I'll be playing Diablo 4. I'll be playing Final Fantasy 16. I'll be playing Trails into Reverie. My summer's looking good. My summer's looking good. Despite what anyone else is doing, I am set. I am set for the summer. Ultimate summer of gaming for me. Ultimate summer begging for another showcase for MBG. 
Shout out to him. <laughs> Hope he makes it through. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you later. Later.